With bright colored traditional regalia and songs of welcome, eight First Nations paddlers arrive at CFB Esquimalt, accompanied by Lieutenant Governor Stephen Point and Base Commander Craig Baines. They've come from a journey across the water in a hand-carved canoe ready to recognize and celebrate a special day. And here to share in the celebration of a thriving culture are First Nations veterans and current members of the Canadian Forces. It makes me proud to be First Nations to know that I'm um, to, to show and to prove that I'm a contributing member to, to society. The festivities are full of food, dance, songs and gifts, a way to acknowledge members of the forces who are of First Nations ancestry and to celebrate their culture. It's great to underline the fact that Aboriginal people uh, um, uh, are here in the community, they're part of the military, they're part, they're part of the country and it's a good thing to do that. The base commander for CFB Esquimalt pointed out today that First Nations people have been defending Canada for the past 200 years and it's important to recognize their contribution in many conflicts including two world wars. Their contributions um, throughout the, the last few world wars has been like phenomenal really. Um, National Aboriginal Day is, is a great day to really highlight the contributions that um, First Nations have contributed to not only the military but society as a whole. The base's Aboriginal Advisory Committee estimates there are 200 First Nations people working at CFB Esquimalt and not all are from local nations. Corporal Jocelyn Eastman is from the Broken Head Reservation in Manitoba and Petty Officer 2nd Class Marielle Audette is Métis from Quebec. I heard the chief of the Staminas people say that we are actually building this nation together. And I just love this because I think it really gives us a wider scope of what reality is today. Audet says First Nations people give the forces strength, adding different cultural viewpoints and approaches to work and life. She says being a part of this celebration allows her to see how different parts of the greater community can support each other and work together. We have the city of Esquimalt, the Navy and the Canadian forces, and then we have also the First Nations, uh, the people of this land. Um, and to see all that come together, I think it's really encouraging. And the Lieutenant Governor sees the Canadian Forces as an opportunity. He says unemployment is high in many First Nations communities and young people should consider a future with the military. I think it's important as Canadians, as Aboriginal people, to, to do our part, to, to, to go and join the military, to be part of the military. And, and uh, you can get an education, you know, and travel the world. It's a great thing to do. And this won't be the only big event observing First Nations culture. National Aboriginal Day is June 21st, a day to learn, acknowledge, and appreciate our diverse culture. In Esquimalt, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.